Sinner's Clubhouse. Gear, effects, tips and tricks. Your critique, local experience. Oh, and Tom and Craig. Hello, sir. Hello, Craig. How are you? Good. How are you? How is Nam? I didn't go. Oh, Sad face. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How was Nam for you? It was very good, actually. It awesome. was great to meet all the uh, customers and uh, yeah. everybody loves us. Got lots of selfies. Nice, nice. Yeah, the old uh, doing this. I yeah. think our, our prime minister has gotten in a little bit of trouble for doing too many selfies lately, but I, I figure like better accessible than not, yeah. right? So. <laughs> so tell them what we're going to give them today, Greg. Okay, cool. So we've been sort of looking at the show and looking at what people like, and it seems like us doing songs is the most popular part of the show. So we are going to start condensing things down into us doing songs. So we're going to kind of switch back and forth. One week, yeah. Tom will pick one. Next week, I'll pick one. And uh, this week, you are going to start. You you pointed to, you said Tom will pick one? Yeah. Yes, Tom will pick one, and then I'll pick one. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're so, actually yeah. completely interchangeable, and that's how we see each other. <laughs> one or the other will pick one. <laughs> so I figured that um, seeing how Glenn Fry from the Eagles died recently, sad, you know, and he was a big part of my life as a gigger. Uh, I loved all the tunes that he did, that he wrote, and, you know, the Eagles did. We thought we'd do an Eagles tune. Cool. Which one? Well, I thought we'd do Peaceful Easy Feeling because it's one of the ones where uh, it uses high and higher voices, which is, uh, you know, a, okay. a harmony preset you don't always use. You know, you normally as a, in a male's voice, you're going to have high and low right. or low or just high. But when you have the two up there, you got to really mean it. So cool. I thought we'd do that one. Let's do it. Okay. So first where, of all, where do I'll we swing start? in the mic. <laughs> swing in the mic. There we go. Can you, can you still see me? All right. I'm talking through the product now and I'm still talking through it. Now I have reverb. Can you straighten that up for me? Because my OCD is really flaring up right above. <laughs> okay, so first thing you do, you know, you know, you play it right. You got to make sure, you know, you do it with the bass line. And you sing the song like with the hit off. I like the way the sparkling earrings lay. And, and then go through the first chorus with no harmonies, which, which surprised me. Can you explain the, how you picked the reverb? Because that was something oh, okay. in there, that, right? Just so we can get into like the the. Guts. I picked the reverb because it's the first preset, and it worked. <laughs> and it actually works. This actually, yeah, it's nice because actually, when you do listen to the, the the album, it does have a fairly long tail reverb. But you know, they didn't have a lot of reverb choices in those days. They had plate, loud plate or quiet plate <laughs> or I don't know whatever. So. So that's not actually a preset designed for that song. This okay. is just the very first preset. Because what happens is, in the first line of the second verse, I have a foot switch down here. And I found out a long time ago. I love how the harmonies do that. Na, 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 which is exactly the harmony line from that song. Cool. Okay, that's the only time you're going to use one above. So if you want to do this song, you want to have two presets okay. if you want to do it exactly right. When I do my solo shtick, I don't do it exactly right. In fact, I made the mistake of, I just noticed, doing the full harmonies in the chorus, the first chorus, which is a no-no, but you know, I thought the audience would like to hear it. So make sure you go to tomlangmusic.com and check that out because I got a video there for that. Shameless plug, I'm sorry. Okay, so now we go to the meat of the matter, which is the chorus. And w this is where the Eagles really shine. They've got this incredible, three-part, even four-part harmony. Because you've got two voices in play acoustic, you got two parts, so. Um. And I get a peaceful, easy feeling. And I know you won't let me down. Did you hear how that lovely suspension totally worked? <laughs> Can you explain a little bit about how, did you have to manipulate the way you played the guitar to get that suspension to come out properly? Yes, that is true. Craig points out a point where, you know, when you're playing with harmonies that are reading the guitar, you can, you can game it a little bit. So in that one, I was going down. So it's a tiny push on the chord change. Well, it's, well, yeah, we're not supposed to tell them that, but yeah, if you want to play a little ahead, it's going to happen. Um, but, you, you know, for your audience, they're not really aware of that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, there's that part of it. Um, and I'm just using the first two presets. This is not a special preset that we created magically for you folks. 
I, I think this though it's it's a good explanation of presets are very um, compatible across a wide range of songs and music, right. and so like don't necessarily take the preset name as sort of uh, you know the the, gospel, way, the yeah. only one it can yeah. be. Gospel is the word I was yeah. looking for. You know, it's like uh, you know, we get a lot of people who are like, I hate Nickelback, and I'm never using this <laughs> preset. And you're like, fine, but really, it's reverb and third up, and it might actually work on another song you're looking for. Right. So that's just sometimes exactly. if you see a song and artist preset, it may very well be applicable to a tune you're working on or for original or something like and that. And you could totally, you know, as a singer, you could totally live in these two presets. Yeah, absolutely. You, you don't really have to go much farther than that. Yeah. And that's why I put them there in the, at the beginning so that when people first take this thing out of the box, boom, it's like huge, fantastic sound right out of the back. Sure. Uh, so why, well, don't, why don't you, like, I think we've covered it. You had a little loop thing you wanted to do. Why yeah. don't you just kind of like play us out and we'll see what you, like what it sounds like because you kind of put the package together. Right. Awesome. For my looping thing, I, I do the ending part where they go, um, oh, yeah, I think you've got the loop in there already. Do, do you, I? I think so. Press oh my play, gosh, press, press play and see what happens. <laughs> no! Ow! <laughs> <It's> ow! <laughs> we were testing this, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> here we go. Okay. Walk, walk, walk. Uh, so, so at the end, they have a part where he sings a little bit of an ad lib over the ooh, ooh, ooh. So you go, right. uh. Stand peace, my man. 